Welcome. Today we will be disassembling a Lenovo T470 ThinkPad laptop. All right, so first we'll go ahead and remove the battery. So just uh, kind of move the little latches out and pull the battery straight out. And then we can go ahead and remove the screws in the bottom case. All right, um, the screws are internally retained so they're not gonna come out. So once you have them loose, go ahead and open it up and then use the uh, seam here between the palm rest and the bottom case to uh, separate the two halves. And then once you've worked around the perimeter and got the little snaps, then you can take off the bottom case and have access to the internals. All right, so the first thing we'll do as usual is go ahead and disconnect the battery. And get the tape out of the way. So with this connector, it's pretty simple. Let uh, me just pull it straight out. They don't really give you any taps to hold on to, so the cables are in there really strong, so you can just tug on that little cable and it will remove it. And once you have the two screws removed, you can finish removing the battery. All right, I forgot to mention earlier, um, as you can see from the bottom case screws, they're gonna be a small Phillips head. Um, it looks like the rest of the screws inside the laptop are about the same. This is a 2.5 Phillips. So it looks like that one uh, bit should remove most of the components in the laptop. All right, so go ahead and remove the memory sticks. So just spread those retainer bars and remove the stick straight out after it pops up. All right, so for the hard drive caddy, uh, we'll go ahead and just flip up that little metal retainer bar and then use that little bar to pull the connector out. And the hard drive caddy is just held in uh, by little tabs, no screws. It'll just uh, pop straight out. All right, now's a good time to remove that cooling fan and heat sink. So for this type of connector, it's best to have a fingernail or something else on both sides of the connector and just kind of wiggle it out. And then we can go ahead and remove the screws.
like we have a lot of cables coming in um, from the display to the motherboard so we'll go ahead and work these cables loose and we can get ready to separate the display assembly from the palm rest. And the video cable here also has a small retainer bar. So you wanna flip that up and then you can pull it back out of the motherboard and we'll just work these uh, cables that are coming from the hinge all the way out. And same for the other Wi-Fi antennas. And it looks like we have one more connector over on this side. So just flip the little bar up and you can pull it straight out. And then we can work it around the uh, little tabs. All right, so we have the cables disconnected from the display, so we're ready to remove the hinge screws. So we'll go ahead and remove those hinge screws, and then we can flip the hinges up to clear the palm rest. So that looks like just five more screws for the hinges. And then if you're planning on removing the display, a good trick to know is um, a small head Phillips bit can get these hinges started. You can just poke it through there a little bit and get a head start on moving those hinges. Another way to do it is to leave the hinge screws in there and just open up the display and hold it in place while you unscrew the hinges, but this way um, seems to be a little bit easier. All right, so we have the cables disconnected from the display. Hinges moved out, so we'll go ahead and separate the rest of the palm rest assembly from the display. All right, now we'll go ahead and remove the DC jack. Um, it's held on with some pretty decent adhesive, so we'll go ahead and just get the cable free first. And then um, maybe able to just push the pram battery aside to get that connector out of there. If you can kind of wiggle it enough to get the clearance and pull out the connector. There we go. And for the DC jack, it helps to just get a tool maybe under the backside and just pry a little bit. That way you can um, overcome the adhesive on the bottom, which is pretty strong. All right, I almost forgot about the Wi-Fi card here underneath the little black cover, so Go ahead and remove that screw. And then the Wi-Fi card will slip up, or flip up, and then you can just pull it straight out. All right, now we will uh, disconnect any more uh, cables that are going into the motherboard uh, in preparation of removing it. So we'll go ahead and flip up those little retainers and remove the ribbon. It's best to shut it down or uh, shut it again after you've removed the ribbon just to help it stay not broken. 
looks like we got one connector for the speakers. So let's grab that connector with your fingernails and pull it out. Looks like one more connector over here. All right, so now we'll go ahead and remove all of these screws from the motherboard, including the ones on the braces on either side. All right, so trying to wiggle the motherboard, it feels like there's something on the other side. So I'm gonna assume that we have a couple more ribbons on the other side of the keyboard. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just push up that keyboard. Yeah, it looks like there's a couple more uh, ribbons on the bottom here. So we'll just go ahead and flip up those connectors. remove the keyboard from the palm rest uh, to access those two small connectors that are remaining. And double check to make sure we have all the ribbons off on this side. Looks good. Then the Pran battery can stay put. And then uh, just keep in mind these little two uh, alignment posts right there. Uh, you're gonna kind of wiggle the motherboard around them. And you should be able to remove the motherboard. All right, so the last part we're gonna remove from the palm rest is gonna be the power button. So just remove the screw and then finish on sticking the adhesive. And it'll come right out. As you can see, the uh, little touch board, it's just held on by a retaining bracket and one screw. So if you need to replace that, it's just right there. And then you have the two speakers held on by some screws. And then a touch pad looks like about four on the back side to remove that. So that is it for the palm rest, and we will continue on with the display assembly. All right, for the LCD, we're gonna go ahead and find the seam between the back cover and the bezel. It's almost halfway, but it's more toward the front. And we're gonna get a straight edge in there and just start working around. The FYI, there is uh, quite a bit of adhesive, uh, particularly along the inside of the bezel. So um, as you free the outside, just keep working at it until you can kind of get a space going between the LCD and the bezel. And once you have enough of a little gap to get your fingernails in there. Not quite there yet. And you can kind of go around the perimeter and pull the adhesive and the snaps at the same time.
And the same goes for the bottom. It's just uh, quite a bit wider, so you have to kind of dig your fingers in there a little bit further. So we have the bezel off. Try to preserve some of the sticky stuff on the screen. But yeah, as you can tell, there is a, uh, a ton of adhesive here around the uh, perimeter of the LCD, which is partially responsible for keeping the bezel in place. All right, so for this screen, um, you have four screws and a video cable connection to replace the LCD. And it looks like just a couple screws here for the, um, the hinge. And the hinge rail um, looks like it's also connected up here for the top of the LCD. So once you have the four screws out, you can flip the LCD panel up and detach the video cable and remove the LCD. Or you can just uh, undo the hinges to replace the hinges themselves. And then um, the video cable will also run under, run under the LCD up to the webcam. If you wanna replace the webcam cable, you'll have to remove the LCD to do so. Same with the Wi-Fi antennas, but it's just a few screws to remove the components and most of these are also held on by a little bit of tape. So it's really easy to work on and once you get the bezel off you have easy access to the inside of the laptop. Alright, so that is it. Um, we're going to go ahead and leave this LCD assembly complete. But that is how you disassemble a Lenovo ThinkPad T470. If this video helped you or you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.